All anything. right. <laughs> well, welcome back. I didn't even know we were, and then I, I think we're in the Bucks locker room. Well, we will uh, get to that uh, All right. later. later. Uh, but this is uh, the Midwest Sports Show. Hello. And uh, we are live mm. uh, on Facebook. Mm. And uh, you can always watch us anytime. Uh, anytime. Just look up the Midwest Sports Show or, or uh, Gene Steichen's Hello. Uh, Facebook page, and uh, you'll see us there. Mm. Uh, you can always do the old-fashioned way and download it as a podcast. That and didn't go uh, out of style. So, what? Oh, okay. I was trying to help <laughs> people, you. I tried people, to help you, but I realized I uh, people, wasn't much help. <laughs> you don't know what you're talking about? <laughs> no, I, I wasn't much help. People, Sorry. People love video, Gene. Okay, they I They love see. watching right, other right. human beings yeah. uh, on tape. It always makes a difference. So, yeah. uh, this is the Midwest Sports Show once again. Uh, my name is Chris Dots, and uh, we got uh, Gene Steichen here as well. Hello. Gene, how's, yeah. it, how's it going? I'm wearing my cub shirt, which may be not a good... I. I, hey, the more the Cubs, uh, they're they're not playing well right now, and well maybe they're playing well. They just they're losing, and I'm just it makes it more of a miracle that I saw them win. Well, Gene, you, you got a lot of guts coming I, to uh, the I, show. Hey, listen, today. I'm two and zero with the Cubs. Although one was a, a spring training game, but I still I saw them score 16 runs and 12 runs. Okay, yeah. so maybe you can hop over a little bit to the left oh, a little I bit, see. a little bit. There you go. Hello, All right, everybody. we got to work on our positioning. Yeah, a little bit. All right, but yeah, we're gonna talk about uh, baseball. Gene, Th- thank God. Yes, the baseball is finally here. Oh, wow. even though you may uh, you may say uh, baseball is a uh, boring game, I you love may, it. You may be correct. Uh, right. At least it gives us stuff to talk about. At least there's stuff going on every single day. It gives right? me something to worry about. Before I I could just live in optimism. Now that reality set in, now I'm already worried. And they they've only played three games. Well, the Brewers have played four, I think, or whatever. But yeah, yeah. I love it. Right. I, I uh, okay. well, Gene. Uh, Gene's gonna be here and lament about uh, <laughs> the Cubs here in one moment. So we'll I, all enjoy that. Okay. Uh, we'll talk about uh, opening weekend of, for baseball. Finally, awesome. thank God. Yeah. Uh, we're gonna talk a little March Madness. Oh. Some NCAA hoops. Oh, also the Iowa women. They're they're going for the Final Four. So is it going on right now? Yes, it is. I I almost forgot. They're playing Baylor to go to the uh, the Final Four. Yep. Okay. Yep. Well, good luck to That's the uh, Iowa cool. women. We hey, let's dedicate this they've show. Ne- they've never been to the final four. To the Lady Hawkeyes. Is that? Or oh, the, I, I is that think, what we call it? I think we can. Call, I don't know if Hawkeyes are male and female, but yeah, that they're ladies, all right. Hot they're, lips. You got a Hawkeye and then Hot Lips, right? That's the female yeah, team. Yeah. Hot lips. Although for, it for was Mash. based on Last of the Mohicans, I think. You think uh, if you ask like a twelve-year-old James, James Fenimore. Ask a twelve-year-old. Hey, do you know anything about the the show Mash? Right. It'd probably be like uh, it's set in the cafeteria <laughs> or something. Like mashed potatoes, right? That's I know, only, man. That's, all, that's the only mash these kids know about. Uh, I I don't want to. Okay, may I say this? Uh, I just checked this score, oh, which I shouldn't have done. This is almost the, as bad as a Cubs game. Dude. Yeah, they're uh, Iowa ladies, women. Uh, congratulations on a great year, but uh, they're losing by twenty. But you're done. Get out of here. Yeah. Well, hey, uh, Pat, oh, hey, wow. little, little tip next year. That's what I get for checking in. And hey, let everyone touch the ball before you the Cubs uh, go are, to a basket. Yeah, the Cubs are getting uh, uh, kind of beat up, and then the Iowa women. Oh, well. All right. But I'm so hey, I'm a total pro. Well, Gene, uh, you just came back yes. from wow. a uh, trip around the Southwest. Exhausting. And uh, you came back to Southern California. New Mexico is a big state. Have you ever driven through it? Uh, I do not believe so. I think I went from Utah. I don't think I actually went out of them because they yeah. all, they're all like corners right there. Right. Yeah. I did drive through Arizona I on did. my trip over here. Yeah. So, oh, uh, you why too. don't you, I'll tell you what, I left my water over on the other side of the oh, room. Why I don't see. you regale us? I will regale. With some stories. Well, uh, the, t- the top three moments, uh, uh of, of the well, road, road trip. Okay. The top, I'm going to say. Well, time with my family. I saw my Aunt Cassie. She's a snowbird. She lives in uh, some retirement community in Arizona. You know what's interesting in Arizona? They they ride. You're, you're driving down the street, and say in Iowa, you get behind a tractor. In Arizona, the golf carts, you just ride right down the street. No problem. Yeah, that's. And they're pretty fancy, so see my Aunt Cassie. And, and then I went, I went to the Cub Spring training. And they put my name up on the scoreboard. That was really awesome. Although the, yeah, I saw that. I saw that picture. 
this score. To, how, how do you? I'll, how do you, I'll how show you the even go about magic. That? They have uh, the actual scoreboard. Uh, they recreated it, which they when you go into Wrigley Field, it's that scoreboard, and and you can wait in line and, and sign up, and they put your name on the scoreboard, and then someone from the Cubs takes your picture. And there's no uh, there's no fee. No, there's no fee involved. They just do it because they love you. Wow. And then it was the last day of spring training. Gene, so you you would have paid twenty bucks for that, right? I would. I don't, you, cool. We're going to be talking about the Ricketts family a little bit later. Maybe uh, oh, maybe this is a new rev- this Ricketts. is a new rev- right. revenue stream. And then, and then uh, the Cubs, the, their gift shop, and t- the game was sold out, too, which is amazing. Yeah, so you went to the last preseason game, yeah, right, against yeah, the uh, yeah. what Red Sox? Red Sox, yeah. And uh, you paid how much uh, for the? I think $54. Jesus. And that was just to sit on the lawn. And I couldn't even find a seat on the lawn. Those are the only <laughs> tickets. Uh, There's so many people, and they're all spread out with their kids. And I'm like, ah, uh, a little room here? So I mostly walked around and in parking and it was it was crazy there, and uh, now, wait, this is in Mesa. Mesa, is it? oh, their new stadium, which is so is that by Glendale? Ago. I don't know Arizona. Yeah, at all. It's, it's it's like right. the three cities. It's, Glendale, Phoenix is all right next to each all other. All yeah, right. and then but the Cubs, their their pro shop, their their gift shop, huge. It was the last day of spring training, so they had huge discounts. So I bought a Cubby statue, and it was only it was half off. So, that's cool. <laughs> so and, you still pay two hundred and thirty dollars yeah. for it. Nope. And also the Cubs beat the Red Sox sixteen to seven. So that was pretty oh, cool. Oh wow, there you go. Yeah. I that's a lot Yeah a lot to hang your uh, head on. Very exciting. Huh? But right afterwards I uh I had to take off and I drove another six hundred miles. <laughs> To Texas, right? Well, I got, to, I almost got to Texas, and I was so exhausted. So I drove a thousand miles last Tuesday, and uh, <laughs> in one day, or yeah, what? one day. And I, I was getting gas, and I just looked with nearest hotel. It said point two miles. It was behind the gas station. It was just some uh, truck stop, and I stayed there. And oh, yeah. You're, you're I, roughing I it, huh? Yeah, I told the guy goes, "Oh, we have a continental breakfast." Uh, I go, "I'm not going to be here." I mean, and I, I woke up at four and took off again. <laughs> oh, remember when I got to El Paso or somewhere around the Texas border? They 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 have a dog sniffing, a drug sniffing uh, dog, yeah, yeah. and then okay, him and a uh, agent are on one side of your car, and on the other side, then the guy he goes. Are you a U.S. citizen? I go, I am indeed, <laughs> sir. You know, the only reason why they have to say that to someone like you, right? a uh, blue-eyed, blonde-haired, yeah. uh, <laughs> is because when they actually say it to the real, well, I don't want to say real, but when they actually say it to uh, Hispanics, yeah, they can't be uh, like sued or whatever, you know what I mean? Okay. So they well, have to say it to everyone. Sense. They just can't say it to, you yeah. know. Hispanics. Well, I kept going, and uh, I made it. So it was a total 1,500 miles. I saw a lot of people get pulled over and another thing when you get one of those big truckers behind you move over they're not messing around some of those yeah. guys i think are on speed because they're trying try to make time oh the highest speed limit is i saw was 80 at uh, in arizona texas parts of texas oh, okay yeah hey, i'm all for it but i'm i'm i always stayed within about five miles because so many people i saw get pulled over for speeding that's how they make their money in new mexico yeah. i guess and then uh the, well maybe they're probably like uh yeah we gave you 80 you know, right, if you're right. gonna go over eighty, you're yeah. not. We're gonna pull you over. And then my sister and her husband had a great tailgate, and we had a bunch. I was the only Cubs fan uh, at our tailgate. There's like ten people, but they're all Rangers. And it was such a beautiful day. Great, a lot so of th- Cub fans. Did they just get like a new stadium? Yes, or something like that? they're building it right next to. Th- this yeah. was their last opening day, so this is the 25th year at at Ranger Stadium. Jeez, and, uh, they're getting rid of it. La- it's their last. Cu- Wrigley Field opened in 1914. I mean, how what did it look like? It was like in oh, disarray or something. No, it's beautiful, <laughs> but it's really hot. I guess in the summer it gets really uh, hot there. So they're gonna build some sort of like roof system. Yeah, or something in, like that? Uh, retractable roof. And what this is in Arlington or yes, where is Arlington. this? Arlington. Oh, that's they're, by Dallas. They're on the same. They're the Cowboys Stadium's on one side of the street, and then the Rangers are on the other side. Oh, wow. Did you go check out the uh, yeah the Cowboys I've, Stadium? I've been to a few games there. Oh, yeah. you have? Okay. Yeah. And then a lot of Cub fans, obviously, and the Cubs are great. That was the one I thought, wow, we're going to have the best team ever. They haven't won since. All right. Well, let's talk about that game, yeah. Gene. Game one yep. uh, for the year, Chicago versus uh, the Texas Rangers. Uh, inter- Johnny inter-league. Lester. 
Just I know. Interleague, just like the old uh, days from the 60s, right? It has gone so far south that the opening day. <laughs> Remember the Reds used to open on a Monday or whatever, and then the rest so of the— the Cardinals always open on a— or something Yeah. Like that. Oh, boy. Uh, yeah, just think. just like the Ernie Banks days. You know, Ernie <laughs> Banks probably has the best record against the Texans yeah. on— uh, yeah. I'm sorry, I keep on saying the Texans, the Rangers. They might have just changed the Texans. Right, right. Probably Fergie, sell more how about merchandise. This? Okay, so when I was at spring training, Fergie's always there signing autographs for the Cubs. But then when I was at the Rangers stadium, they had a booth set up for uh, Fergie Jenkins signing for the Rangers. He played for both. <laughs> but I go, Fergie, come on. Not today. Hey, you double done. dip, man. Yeah. Oh, I saw Bill Buckner, too, signing at in Mesa for the Cubs. Uh, well, he, did he play for the Cubs? Oh, for a long time. Oh, did yeah. he? Oh, okay. yeah. oh, beforehand. He played for okay. the Dodgers, and then he played for the Cubs, and he went to the Red Sox. Okay. And they, something, he looked really, something's wrong with him, I think. <laughs> No. Well, he, w- he was pounding the sauce back in the day, right? Well, it looks like he either had a stroke or he has – he wasn't shaking, but it looks like he has – he moved very slow and deliberate. He can't really move in his face. So I think he either had a stroke or has some – Or, sort of or that cocaine catching, catching I, up to him? I don't – forget a problem with that. But it's good to see him. Oh, and then at the end, so they have his autograph table at always at spring training. So they have Ernie Banks. And they have some other pretty good – Ryan Sandberg. But then they have Pete Lecoq. He's always there. And I'm like, who even <laughs> knows who he yeah, is? I, I do not know him. His who dad was Peter Marshall. <laughs> God, Remember, he was the host of some game show. Oh, yeah. uh, Penny Marshall? Related to Penny Marshall? Uh, I don't no? think so. Oh, it could be, maybe. But the Cubs were fantastic. There were a lot of All Cubs right, So how fans. were you? But th- is this your first time in that Texas stadium, the Rangers uh, stadium? I think I, was, for, I think I was there once a long time ago. I mean, ago, how would you compare it? It's I mean, beautiful. You've been to Miller Park? Yeah, it's it's really really beautiful. It is. It's amazing. Uh, I it's just it's very scenic. I don't know. It's a beautiful stadium. Why are they get rid of it? I because it's too hot in the summer. <laughs> yeah. Hey, the, the the Coliseum had these uh freaking uh, cloth sheets of cloth over. Why don't you guys yeah. do that? Huh? Well, they got. Well, we can't figure this out. We got to build a whole new stadium for a billion dollars. They got Arlington, the city of Arlington, to pay money to build it. So. Uh, yeah, the city, didn't they build the Rangers, Texas Stadium too for the Cowboys at one yeah, point? That's where uh, the Cowboys because, play. Because Arlington and Irving and Dallas, they're all right together. But Arlington's got the Cowboys and the Rangers, and they built both stadiums. Yep. Yeah, a and bunch, also, bunch of suckers, right? Oh yeah, I went to get. Have you ever seen Gas Monkey Garage? It's this really cool TV show, reality show yeah. about cars. But I went there. I it's right by uh, where I was staying. And uh, it was really cool. They're filming, so that was another highlight. Right. But yeah, the Cubs were great. They, All right. oh, well, that that first game was uh, quite. Must have been a lot of fun. It was really Tw- fun. twelve to four. A lot of people home runs. Cubs. Hobby hit two home runs, and then Chris Bryant hit a home run. And it was so, so great. So things were looking up and yeah, up and four, up. Forty-eight thousand people there sell out. But by the end of the game, it's basically Cub fans, and then everyone puts up the white flag. It was so fun. It was just one of the great. It was just great, and the weather was, it was beautiful. A fun time. Yeah. Yeah. Opening it, day is a good time, huh? Oh, so man. optimistic. Yeah, and I'm thinking, gosh, the Cubs are going to be so. Mm, well, and then on that fr- on the next day on Friday they uh, well they didn't play no, they didn't play Friday they didn't play Friday Gene what yeah. what is going on I here? don't know they built these teams seem to build an off day in in case they get rained out I, I, th- I thought they played in Texas I thought that was the the building I, day I don't know what was going on but a lot of fans probably came down for the weekend so it was my sister's well, birthday make it a, you can't make it a four game series it's only yeah it doesn't then that, have it open on friday i mean what's going on here i know i would have stayed friday i mean went to the game but I, I i went out with my sister and then i flew back saturday morning and thank goodness after that drive i'm like I'm, oh so you I've, left the car in texas yeah i gave it to my nephew um Oh, wow, that's very um, sweet. Yeah. I oh, got, so I you gave to, your old car to uh Yeah, I had to get go. it fixed up. I put a lot of money into it. <laughs> and then I'm like, oh, I hope you appreciate this. Because it didn't, it wasn't, and, uh, it he, wasn't he, uh, road worthy. He's going to get all banged up probably in the next uh, three months. So oh, he's going to college. He goes to Texas. He's going to go to Texas Tech, who's in the Final Four. So that's oh, really? pretty good. All it right. was great. That, it was so perfect. And then here I am three days, four days later. Right, and then uh, game two. Yeah. Uh, you Darvish Lewis. gives up three he runs. awful. Seven walks yeah, in two just, and two-thirds oh inning pitched. My. Was it like bases loaded and he just got the he got the yank? He got struck the out the first two guys and then he walked three guys and then <laughs> he just fell apart. 
He he struck out two guys. Yeah. So this is the guy you're paying like twenty five, twenty six million yeah, dollars a year in, to. In two and two thirds inning, he threw seventy five pitches. <laughs> I mean, I don't know. He's a workhorse. I, he said this is the best he's felt in forever, <laughs> and he's not. He's speaking Jeez. English. Not I. Well, I'm like, oh boy, it was a mess. It was bad. But then the Cubs. I mean, they they got three runs in the top of the first, so they staked him to a lead, which he kind of blew up on. And the Cubs were winning, but they blew the lead and blew the game. Same thing happened on Sunday, too. Yep. Yeah. And uh, Joey Gallo, uh, oh I guess he's a beast uh, for the yeah. uh, for the uh, what do you call it? The Rangers, as we see. Uh, he's one of those away. guys. He's he's similar to the Brewers guy, where he doesn't wear anything under his shirt, and he's showing all his muscle. That guy. <laughs> oh, oh, Thames, Eric Thames. Oh yeah, like Thames. A musclehead. Right. All right, and then uh, and then Gene, uh, so the field is called uh, this Texas field, the Ranger field. Oh. Globe it? Life Field. Oh, that's right. It is. Globe Life I don't Field. Even, is that insurance? I I mean, is it the Shakespeare Company or something like that? The Globe Theater. <laughs> I, I've been they... to the Globe Theater. It's in San Diego. Beautiful. Yeah. But so yeah. I I forgot about that. Yeah. What, what a like generic. Globe. I know there's like a for-profit school called Globe, so maybe yeah. it's a uh, one of those things. Well, I'll tell you, their new stadium's gonna be ready next year. I don't care if it's retractable. Okay, good. You get out of the heat, but it, it, it there's no way it can be as beautiful as this one. <laughs> wow. All right. Well, maybe their minor league team okay. can play there mm. or something. All right, so uh, yeah, Cubs. Uh, what they're one and three right now, or one and two? Yeah, one and two. Very fastly heading for one and three. So I didn't want to get half those games beyond start. the Brewers. Yeah, that's the problem. And Yelich, wow. All right, and then the, who are they playing? Uh, this, they're this they're in Atlanta, and okay. then they go to Milwaukee. Oh, so Atlanta's pretty good. I won't see him. I was going to go to Milwaukee Friday, but I'm going to just go to Dubuque because my family's going back. But I'll be in Chicago. Uh, next week at this time. So hopefully mm, the Cubs won't be one and eight when I'm there. <laughs> yeah. Oh, man. They're 0 and five. I'm sorry. It's 0 to five. Zero yeah, to five yeah. right now. Bottom so of the, fourth. the way they're looking, when I see them next Monday for their home opener, they could be one and eight and without a manager. Because if they go <laughs> one and eight on this road trip, wow. Yeah. Like, what's going on? Are, 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 is there rumblings? Are we well, hearing rumblings? rumblings before. I don't know. I mean, what what's Joe supposed to do, right? Yeah. I mean, I look know. at the team he's uh, been given. Yeah. I mean, you got, you got a bum Japanese guy that's making twenty six million a year, can't even throw uh, out of the third you, inning. Yeah, he was bad. If this is what he's gonna, oh, I don't know. I uh, got Yavi. He's he's the yeah. head case. <laughs> he's really good in April. What does it count? No, no, he had a good playoff series, right? He did. Well, that one game. <laughs> what do you mean? He's. Uh, I don't know. I'm not. All right. I'm trying not. To All right, and then Gene, if uh, things didn't get any uh, worse for uh -oh. the Cubs, uh, Deadspin. What did they do? Uh, they published a or pretty much a pretty long piece, long form. Yeah. Uh, about the Ricketts. Right. Right. Uh, emails transactions that happen uh, uh oh. during during the transaction of buying uh, the cubs by the way i would like to acknowledge the rangers and my sister they're, they're they're maybe they're okay my sister said maybe they're not as bad as you thought i didn't know they'd leave the rickets alone tom was there <laughs> i didn't talk to him oh he was at the game i'm sure he was there should, should have wrote him uh, nice emails nice i grammar. was looking for him at spring training but uh I was I was more uh, trying to find a seat on the lawn for fifty dollars. Yeah. Wait, <laughs> yeah. what did they you're trying say? to sit down without sitting in dog it shit? It's amazing, fifty dollars to sit on some grass. Uh, and you can't eat well, anyway. Se se seats not guaranteed. No, yeah. they, that's all they had was lawn seats. Um, yeah. All right, so uh, yeah, so did you you didn't see this article or you didn't read this article? I did not. Why? Well, so let's so, pour on. Let's pour it on. So basically, I think uh, it's ba it's basically the uh, emails uh, during the transaction right, of uh, right. acquiring the Cubs, and basically, and this is actually pretty interesting because it kind of shows you how these modern day transactions uh, for buying teams kind of works. And basically, oh, these owners. I did see the headline. It wasn't good, so I didn't read the story. Ba basically, the fact that right. these uh, com uh, I'm sorry, these sports teams. Yeah. Are pretty much recession proof and they have huge amounts of cash always coming right, in. Right, right. Uh, these banks are tripping over themselves to uh, lend out hundreds of millions of dollars. Right. Uh, for these uh, millionaires who, uh, you know, don't have enough, uh, whatever, uh, cash on hand to actually yeah. buy the team themselves. And uh, so basically, uh, they published a bunch of emails. And, and I guess the, it's the th thing is being audited by the IRS Ooh. or something like that. And uh, basically what they did is uh, they did these tax schemes where Tribune, the Tribune company, they bought it from the Tribune yeah. company. 
They entered into an LLC, which uh -oh. is uh, Jane. I'm no uh, accountant, but I believe that's uh, limited liability corporation. Oh, I didn't even know that much. Yep. So there you yeah. go. Uh, entered into a L just basically is that no one can go to jail if anything right, happens, right. That, or no one can get sued. That's basically what that is. And uh, so they, with the Ricketts, and the Tribune maintained five percent control of the team, while the Ricketts got ninety-five percent of the control of the team. Basically, so that th it would not be a, an official uh, sale uh -oh. uh, until 10 years down the line. Uh, because of that, they could avoid huge amounts of taxes. Oh. And uh, th that is being uh, audited uh, that currently. That doesn't sound good. And, uh, yeah, but, uh, you know, my, my, my thought is... Uh, oh, okay. My, my thought is, listen, I, I, I'm the first one to throw the stones right, right. At, at the Cubs. Throw some stones. Chicago Cubs. Oh, don't throw stones. I, you know? Leave them alone. First... First one who's, you know, let yeah. the judger be judged. I right. don't think so. I'm going to throw the stone. Uh, however, uh, it, it's just a couple of rich guys trying to avoid these goddamn taxes. I mean, why, why, sh you go. why should the government get uh, $100 million wow. out of this transaction? I mean, I guess they do allow a monopoly for the uh, hey, I like Major the way League you're Baseball. Thinking. And, uh, yes, these emails kind of show all that stuff. And uh, but I mean, I, I don't think you can blame Gene. You don't like paying taxes, right? I mean, you're, I, you're trying I, to get away from not paying taxes. I, I'm You've paid all, probably a shit ton of taxes. Oh, right? I, I, I have in the past. I already did my taxes. I'm all for paying. And we live in California. We pay a ton of taxes, but I'm all for it to better the world. Hey, you, you, Gene, you keep you're telling me when you uh, when oh, you were making that good. Uh, yeah, those good checks coming in every single week. And then uh, your accountant called and project. be like, yo, uh, I need 50% uh, of yeah. that. Y you were like, oh, yeah, okay, great. Because the roads are great and oh the schools gosh. are great. Yeah, well, well, do you, now, do you need now, more? Now do you need I more? I remember the first check I got a long, long time ago. And it was for, I was like, oh, it was for like 15000 Uh It wasn't for them. It was for something else. And and then I was like, wow, I'm going to be rich. I'm going to make 15000 I go, well, they're taking taxes out. Oh, that's great. I'm going to make $13,800. The check was for like 5600 It was oh, depressing. Jesus. Five? I just got, well, because they think that you make that every week. It was bad. Ooh. But anyway, the, but I'm saying now. I was going to say like half of that, but oh, no. But it geez. was pretty rough. Yeah. My agent even told me. He's like, oh, you're not going to like this. Uh, <laughs> um, but. I now I'm for it because I use the subway. I'm trying to I'm trying to make a difference. So. Well, listen, I you know obviously I think the government should collect taxes and uh, provide uh, services. However, yeah. I think everyone can agree there's a lot of government waste. Wow. And, uh, well, boy, I I and for, I do love the Ricketts fan. I love what they've done for the Cubs. Although I wish Bryce Harper was on our team. Oh, and then uh, yeah. yeah. Yeah, they uh, well, hey, Theo's happy I, with his team. I right? no, I don't know. You think Joe Madden's Theo's happy not, with his team? No, I I love Joe Madden too. I don't want him to go anywhere, but boy, he he might not make it to Chicago. <laughs> they, they're, Joe Girardi's on the hotline. <laughs> he's, I, he's on speed dial. I I'm telling you this because he, he he's on a this is he's a lame duck guy, and uh, I don't know what's gonna what, happen. What they already won a World Series. What more I do they know, need? Right? I know, but they didn't extend his contract. Yeah, I don't know. All right. And then, uh, and finally, Gene, regarding the Ricketts emails, oh, okay. there's a weird, because it's like a family. It's like four kids, and yeah, one yeah. of them, they're all successful. I mean, oh, yeah, yeah. But the dad, the dad is Ameritrade. And right. then the kids, and the, he put money in the trust, which Tom Ricketts used to buy uh, the Cubs. Well, there, so, there's a lot of different trusts. So, right, uh, right. Him and his sister and his brother. His brother is a yeah, big they all, they, wagon, well, and then there's uh, one of the kids' uh, mothers too, the one of the wives of one of the kids as well, mm -hmm. who's uh, a millionaire by her own right. So, yeah. uh, let, they had to put up a lot of assets and they had a lot of due diligence, a lot of work. They bought the for whatever, way less than a billion, I think. Yeah, they got a good deal off it for yeah, sure. Yeah, and now it's worth over three billion. Oh so. yeah, for sure. Mm -hmm. And uh, but also there's this weird family dynamic where the daughter, and who knows, maybe she's right. speaking for some of the other kids, was very jealous. Of I believe Tom, who's kind of the uh, yeah he the younger the older guy yeah 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 uh, very jealous that he was uh, constantly getting in the press and the other family wasn't mentioned and it was acting like he was the one yeah. buying the team and there are a lot of emails where wow. this uh, she's like uh, like uh, we need to talk about this we need to spend time at this meeting and talking about this and you know of course these are uh, meetings with millionaires so they're busy they got bu oh, busy lives man. so. And, just really, uh, I'd be like, uh, how about you be a silent partner? How about there you go. You no know one well, wants to. Well, that's what uh, I think. I know. I know she's on. I believe she's on the board. The sister and 
But it's Tom. It just seems like Tom's the owner. But okay, it's a Rick Esper. Anyway, well, he probably doesn't have a job. It's probably the only thing he can. No, he it has is. To do. That is his job. The Cubs yeah. are. Yeah. Yep. All right, and they're all from Chicago, right? They went to college in uh, Chicago. Yeah, they, they lived in. Uh, they they're Cub fans, but they lived in Omaha. Ameritrade is set in Omaha, and that's yeah. where his dad lives. One of them's a uh, governor, right, or a senator or something. Yeah, his brother. Yeah, one of the brothers yeah. is. All right. And then, Gene, you alluded to this, uh, but the Cardinals play the Brewers. Good for it. Hey, uh, listen, I'm trying to be weekend. a good sport. The Brewers are really good. How's that? Is uh, that being enough? Brewers are really good. They are uh, pretty good. Uh, took St. Louis 3-1, uh, to one, mm-hmm. and Christian Yelich is uh, playing out of his mind. He's oh had four God. home runs in I'm not four mad. games. I'm not mad at the Brewers. I'm mad at the uh, Marlins. What the hell were they thinking? <laughs> How could, wh- well, they what? caught they caught Yelich right uh, on the wrong right Why the they right trade tail him? He had years left on his contract, and the Marlins like, oh Derek Jeter, oh here you go, okay, yeah, yeah there you go, oh we're gonna rebuild with youth. He is young. How he's really young. <laughs> oh yeah. my gosh. Yeah, we got him for like five more years. Oh, a really good man, contract. So yeah, and then he had the uh, game go ahead uh, game winning double on uh, Sunday on a uh, pretty mm-hmm. dramatic. So. He's the only really great. Uh, only the only issue I had was uh, Paul Goldschmidt, who was recently oh, acquired yeah. uh, to the Cardinals from the Cardinals to the Cardinals. Um, three home runs in one game. Gene. I know that was the second game. I didn't see any of it. Crazy! Perfect. That guy destroyed uh, the Brewers uh, this weekend. He could be really good. Yeah, he's uh, he's pretty good. And he has to play. Uh, and he signed. We had to play him like twenty thing. games or thirty how, games. How yeah, he's here for five years, six years, or something like that. How did the new uh, the new insurance thing go over? Their new, uh, the naming. No one mentioned it. You know what I mean? Family. They may have family. even said Miller Park a couple times without even uh, realizing yeah. or something. So I don't know. I did not hear anything mm. as the Reds turn a double play. All right. So, Gene, that's baseball. Uh, Hope Springs Eternal. Um, yeah. I'm uh, I'm pretty excited. We got things to talk I know, about every I know. single week. I just think, uh, boys, I, I already think it's going to be, uh, the birds are going to be really good. And the Cardinals. Uh, so. How did Lester? Was he, he looking good? He was, uh, yeah, he was okay. Yeah, he was uh, he was pretty decent. Yeah. All right. He pitched game. I'm just saying, I, I'm just saying, it's not ideal start to fall. Yeah, I'm not. not oh, by ideal. the way, uh, how about that U Darvish rivalry? Oh, my God. For the Rangers, right? He played for the Rangers? Yes, he did. Were people, Those were his glory years. Were, were people booing him or anything? No. Uh, it seemed like, I think they were happy he, he was in the game. Playing like shit? Yeah. They're I, like, thanks for rooting your elbow. For us. Oh, my gosh. You? Okay. I'm not going to. It's only four, five, whatever. Yeah, don't overreact. Monday, a week from Monday. Uh, Yeah, let's see how I'm feeling. Yeah. <laughs> let's check in next week. I right? thought they were going to sweep the Rangers after. Okay, I'll let it go. <laughs> but they didn't. All right, let's move on. Okay. And then, uh, Gene, the other big sporting event is uh, March Madness, uh, the NCAA oh, tourney. Big, we still have one Big Ten team. Michigan State, they're our yep. great hope. Uh, so we'll talk about all that. And, uh, Gene, you did mention Michigan State. Yep. And that's where we are right now oh, in the Michigan State locker room. Gene, if you oh, actually want to move know. over I a thought, little bit. Okay. There's a, uh, there's a couch wow. back here and then uh, a bunch of, you know, uniforms really and everything. Cool. And I, then... I just saw the green. I thought you were in Milwaukee in the oh, Buck Stadium. No, nope. it's uh, Michigan State. Oh, uh, wow. Hey, listen, room. they're playing good. They're don't uh, hey, just don't ask one of their uh, athletic uh, <laughs> trainers to uh, give you a massage. All right? Yeah, you, they, uh, they got a lot of explaining to do, but uh, <laughs> their their team. All right, good. so let, let's talk about uh, yeah, Marsh Madness. Uh, the big thing for the Midwest is uh, Purdue beat uh, Tennessee. That was good. That was a pretty big upset. Huh? Yeah, that was good. It Gene, was good. I didn't watch one single goddamn minute I, of any of these games. I really didn't watch a lot. I, I did watch. No, yesterday, Duke, Michigan State, one of the marquee games of the whole tournament. And I went to a Cirque du Soleil show about the Wild Wild West. It was so cool. They did they, Cirque du Soleil, and they set it in the Wild Wild West. So they're flying <laughs> all over the place and yeah. singing and dancing. And, and shooting and, guns. And and yeah, and their cowboy boots flipping all over. Oh, that was great. How about so, Indians? Are there Indians? Uh, How do they handle they the Native they American uh, <laughs> no, genocide? They, they didn't kill any. Did they dance they didn't to kill the? Any uh, Native, oh yeah, the cowboys okay. did. Yeah. All right. So uh, let's just so yeah, Purdue beat Tennessee. Great. And then Texas Tech beat Michigan. I guess they destroyed. Uh, very Michigan. Very huh? happy for my my niece and my nephew are Texas Techers. So that's pretty. All exciting. right. And then Duke beat Virginia Tech. I'll burn Bruce Pearl. He on a rampage, beats UNC. Uh, you know, we're just going through the uh, Sweet 16 right, right. right now, I guess. So, 
Uh, LSU falls to Michigan State. Yeah. And then uh, Houston f- lost to Kentucky Saturday. Indiana. Uh, Texas Tech won, and then Purdue lost to Virginia. I don't know, Gene. Did you watch that? Yeah, I watched it. It was an overtime, huh? Purdue definitely could have won, <laughs> but they lost. Couldn't. <laughs> There's some deep. Couldn't analysis. hang, huh? Couldn't hang. Purdue did pretty go. well. They, I mean, getting to the lead eight, that's pretty. Yeah, Gene, I, don't, I didn't tell you this, but uh, Bill Simmons asked us to come on and uh, talk about hoops. Oh, I see. So, yeah. So uh, he, yeah. he, 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 someone sent him a clip. He was very impressed well, with the way we break the, down the uh, game. Michigan State locker room for the Bucks locker room, so. Yep. Yeah. Um, but I'm, I'm Michigan State's playing the best right now. So. And then Auburn beat Kentucky again to get Dude. to the Final Four. So Auburn, I mean, they're not they've even. They've never even been in. This the is Final like the Four. first time they've had like a big basketball. Uh, yeah, team, huh? and they're in the middle of an FBI investigation. You just watch out, Bruce Pearl. He, well, was, he already got suspended for a year. This was so Bruce. You see, this is what happens. Bruce Pearl gets these shitty. Teams he brought by the right, way UWM right. the Panthers he got them to the Sweet Sixteen yeah, and then he got a didn't he got the a run big, of thirty two or something he got a big job oh at Tennessee yeah he went then he went to Tennessee and he's, then he got he suspended in. by the NCAA for a year yeah and well and brought Tennessee to the Final Four I think once or twice right yeah I don't think so. they made fun but they were really good yeah but he was cheating. they got better well whatever <laughs> I don't know what was he, he even doing was he just paying players I mean yeah, everyone does I'm not it, right? sure he hasn't really fessed up and then the FBI is investigating and then he goes to Auburn it's hard to it's hard to even say these guys are cheating now because it's so so much corruption well i mean these what these kids get paid i mean is that bad is that yeah, a bad thing it's hard to it's hard to even say the NCAA but yeah he's uh, he's done a great job at auburn except for that there's going to be uh, open space <laughs> where the banner used to well he'll, he'll, he'll just take a year off you know relax you know hang out in mexico right right and then uh he'll get hired like that but they could because he, they got, could he got win. auburn to the yeah. final four. Oh my gosh that's amazing look at kentucky they got all those pro prospects. Same thing with Duke. Michigan State, uh, it's it's amazing because Kentucky and Duke's got all those in North Carolina as well, and all of them are out. Yeah, and the teams are left. I yep. don't know. All right, and then Michigan State beat Duke. And you did watch that or you did not watch that? No, I was at the Cirque du Soleil show. Okay. But I did check the score after I was done with it. That was one of the first things I did. So when is the Final Four? It's on Saturday? Saturday and then Monday night. All right, so it's Oh, up. they're in Minneapolis. It's all, yeah, there you go. Midwest right there. My niece, Casey, she's going to go. She's going to cover it for Auburn. Yeah. Auburn uh, at Virginia and then Texas Tech versus Michigan State. I'll team. tell you one thing. Watch out rating because uh, say goodbye. Yes. Once they lost Duke. Yeah. Plus those matchups. Oh, not me. I'm, I'm intrigued. But. I don't know if the rest of the country is really dying to see Auburn and Virginia. You know, I think I'll actually check that out. Auburn, I think, because uh, if Bruce Pearl again can get these guys to the national championship, I think that's pretty. And he he coaches like almost like a football coach. He's oh, like he's intense. He's basically telling these guys what to do. He's like calling yeah, out plays. He's like he a quarterback. He's intense. Yeah, watch yep. out. All right, and then Texas Tech, Michigan State. I mean, I don't. I mean, I don't want Michigan State to go do well, anything. Well, I'm kind of split because I Big Ten, of course, number one, but also because my niece and Went to Tech, and my nephew's going there. I should say. I, yeah, Texas Tech. Tech. All right, I'll root for Texas Tech. Yeah, but um, I, I, okay, I'll say that on the outside, but on the inside, I'm, I'm, I grew up Big Ten, Big Ten, baby. All right. And then in my <laughs> bracket, I have Iowa winning the national title over, over Michigan State. Did you fill out a bracket? No, I did. I not. did two leagues, and I'm in last place in both of them. Two. Um, yeah. Well, Iowa let lets you down. I mean, that's that's what happens. Right. Yep. All right, Gene. And then uh, here's an interesting story um, out of the NCAA tournament. Uh, Colgate. By the, by the way, oh, have we figured oh, out where Colgate that, is? Did you I, figure out what that I'm is? I'm going to say, I'll say New York. It must be like Vermont, Vermont, right? Or something like that? Oh, it could be. Uh, uh, yeah, I, I I, couldn't tell you. Oh, is this the story? I, Colgate? I don't know. Oh, what New happened. York. It's in Hamilton, New York. Oh, okay. It's a liberal art college in Hamilton, uh, Hamilton New York. It's probably, a, must be up in probably ideal, idyllic. Yeah. I would say. Well, yeah. Jane, they had a little issue uh, with the marching band. I, I heard that the pep band, they didn't pay for him to go to the tournament. Turns out that the sound of Colgate's fight song probably blaring from the stands of college basketball's biggest stage was, in fact, produced not wow. by members of Colgate's 20-person pep band, but by 29 members of Ohio State's That's pep band not good. clad in maroon T-shirts. Well, Gene, there's a wow. lot of uh, bad to, to, to go around here. Yeah. Well, what is Iowa State, or I'm sorry, what is Ohio State whoring themselves out for another <laughs> university? I've seen this happen before 
We're the, the smaller teams. They can't afford to send their pep band. But that's not right. You can't afford Well, what? Make them pay for it. These kids can't spend $100? Yeah, of course. They would. I would have. I or, or, or how about this? How about put the game in the East fucking conference? How about that? There huh? you go. Not like in New Mexico. How about that? Right. Oh, is that where they were? I don't know. I mean, they, uh, they, but these regions been. are totally fucked up. How about yeah. you put New York in the East fucking region? How about that? I, I don't know. That's, I mean, I, I got to, when Iowa won the Big Ten, I got to march in the Rose Parade in the Rose Bowl. If they would have said, oh, we're going to cut back and not send a band, we're going to just have Washington band cover for both of you. I was like, oh, Jim, would thanks you have done this? Would you have uh, done another opponent's no. colors? I would have been, I would have said, and by the way, I'm sure these band members didn't get paid, right? Because you can't pay band members. You can't p- play the no. uh, basketball players. You can't Nothing. pay band members. You don't get paid in band. You, and it's a lot of extra work and practice i'm sure they didn't put, give it an all and by the way if you're playing do you want like uh some shitty band that doesn't give a shit about your songs i hit, hitting the wrong notes yeah i mean how often do you make the ncaa send your pep band there's only like 10 people in a band or 20 all right so this as you can probably guess did not sit real well with colgate's band all oh, of whom cool. learned of the arrangement when they saw the replacement playing their song on television <laughs> <laughs> we're like gee that's not me playing the oboe that's I, some other kid. I, I don't think there's an Obo and Pep Band, but <laughs> all right. It's not all me right. playing the, uh, what do you call it, French horn? Yeah. That's I don't know. Are there any funny instruments I'm trying to, in a Pep Band? Uh, the the pe- flugelhorn? <laughs> there might be a flugelhorn. There might be. Yeah. That's, that a, one... that's not Jimmy playing the flugelhorn. <laughs> hey, hey, Ma. Yeah. Hey, Ma, that, that, <laughs> that ain't Jimmy playing the flugelhorn. <laughs> How do you know what a flugelhorn is? That's what Chuck Mangione plays. <laughs> I don't know if you know who that is. Yeah, Gene. Gene, I'm a Renaissance man. Okay, you know All right, senior Kyle Roadhouse, who served as the Raider Pep Band's drum major for two years, said that the Colgate Band was never consulted about the possibility of traveling to Columbus, Ohio. It was in Columbus, Ohio. I mean, that's not super far away from. Oh, uh, wow. ha- I mean, New- Hamilton, no. New York is like upstate New York, right? Yeah. I would that's, that stuff's close over by the Erie River. You can take a I, train. Yeah, that's very disappointing. The kids would, I mean, those are rich kids. They would probably would have paid for it themselves just to be there. Oh, very bad to call game. Very All right, bad. so I don't need to read the rest of this. And uh, bad on uh, Ohio State again. Both. Yep. You're going to whore yourself out to another team? Uh, it says a lot. A lot, a lot of Buckeyes. A lot says a lot about the Buckeyes, huh? Aren't, wait, aren't these the guys that were like uh, made some sort of shape of like Iowa getting fucked up the ass or a corn it, like that, a, that a pig? Was, that was Stanford. Oh, uh, Stanford. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, but oh. you're not far off. Stanford but, did that halftime of the Rolls Bowl. They did Farmers.com dating site, and they had a cow on the field, and they tipped them over. <laughs> yeah. Thanks a lot, Stanford. Then they and their football team kicked the crap out of us. <laughs> Very bleak day that Rose Bowl. Well, yeah, if you can't if you can't win the pep band uh, match, how right, are you supposed right. to win the gridiron match, Dean? Yeah. Oh. All right. Tough times. All right, so there you go. That's our uh, hoops roundup. Well, that was pretty good. <laughs> Set Dude, your bets accordingly. You spent more time on the pep band than <laughs> you know, the actual yeah. game. Hey, I I'm with you though. Hey, t- Gene. Uh, you know we uh, we when we were getting set up here in the Michigan yeah. State uh, I love locker being room. In the Michigan State I, locker I, room. I heard some rumors from Tom Izzo. Yeah. They're gonna play a zone defense. Oh. Or is zone defense legal in basketball? Yes, in uh, uh, pros no, but college yes. Okay. Yeah. Oh, by the way, I'm not going to East Lansing, but uh, my sister and I, and hopefully my brother, we're going to Ann Arbor for the Iowa Michigan game next year. All right. There, there you go. go. I've never, I've never been there for a game, so that'd be pretty cool. All right. Well, Gene, we cannot go one week without talking about uh, oh, football did he news. Get a, did he? Did Gordy get a job? Well, Jordy. Gene, uh, Jordy Nelson. Oh, come legend, on. Legend, Hall of Famer, future Hall of Famer. Right. Or, Receiver, I, I would say Packer Hall of Famer. Right. Probably not going to get to the regular Hall of Fame. No, who knows? He won't. Uh, but uh, retiring, the Raiders cut him, uh, and probably he realized no one's going to pay him five million dollars to, uh, yeah, do do cuts, do outside cuts, line cuts, right? You know what you want to say? Yeah, route cuts, cuts so routes. So he's coming home to Green Bay, and uh, so he's uh, he's hanging it up. Oh, he's hanging it up. wow. Yep, he's retiring. Jordy Nelson is retiring. Oh, so, so the Packers they didn't make many offer. Mm, that's too bad. Well, he probably doesn't. He's probably like, why? I'm I'm good. I got money. Yeah, yeah. Probably made twenty million. He in his had career. a great career. He's not. He won't be in that. No, he's not even a Packer Hall of Famer. 
You don't think so? I don't, I he's, don't, he's had some huge no, no, catches. No, no, he's great. He Maybe, won the Super Bowl with him. He's them, not or? a Ring of Honor guy, but he's pretty far. Oh, up Gene, I, I think any like big guy, I any big time guy, know. is a Ring of Honor guy. I mean, they're they're, they're handing these out. Yeah. Pretty oh. easy. I mean, Harry Carey got a ring on. By the way, I got tickets to go. So the Packers open at the Bears September 5th, kickoff the NFL uh, Thursday. The only problem now is getting a ticket to the game. And I looked today, and uh, tickets were, cheapest tickets were 400 Jesus. That's kind of pricey, isn't Jesus. it? Jesus. And is that on the lawn, Gene? I, 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 yeah. I, that's in the old outer stadium. Soldier Field, they have a stadium within a stadium. I don't know. I'm I'm kind of worried that tickets are going to be kind of pricey. Yep. On this game. But you already bought your plane tickets, though, right? Yeah, I did. So, so you, I committed to it. Did. Oh, you'd be losing money. Yeah, basically. and then uh, plus uh, the Cubs are in Milwaukee that weekend, so I can see them. All right. Let's watch a real sport, real yeah. affordable sport. Well, all right, Gene. Hey, I, I came back. Uh, and now I'm going to leave again. I'm leaving. So what's your, uh, why don't you detail your plans? All righty. I'm leaving week? at 6 a.m. Friday morning. I'm going to go to Chicago. And then I was going to drive to Milwaukee, but I'm going to go back to Dubuque, my hometown. Oh, I'm taking my mom. Happy birthday, mom. Love you very much. So you're going to the, the Cubs play the Brewers this weekend, right? Yeah. You, so You're going to go the whole series I, or just no, one game? No, I don't think, I unless I can go Saturday, I probably won't go because uh, my family, they're coming back to Dubuque. But I'm taking my mom to the King and I, the traveling musical in Davenport down the river. So that's pretty cool. And then I'm going to be at opening. Isn't day that the about Cup. the King of Siam, like <laughs> yeah. uh, having sex with a uh, man he thought it was a woman? No, not exactly. Oh no, that, that's yeah. M Butterfly, right? I, yeah, I'm not seeing that butterfly. But then, and then, uh, uh, so far the forecast, no snow. Because last year I went to the Cubs home opener, it got snowed out. <laughs> but it looks uh, 50 degrees and raining. So, that's not totally All right, optimistic. Well, it'd probably be better if it just rained out. Yeah. No, when the reds tie well, it up. This year, I, I this year I put, built in a buffer for Tuesday because they they have an off day on Tuesday. And last year I had to leave, so I missed the opener. So this year I'm gonna stay. So right. hopefully, the way they're going, I'll take if they get back to Chicago. Uh, they're on a nine-game road trip. If they get back five and four, that would be pretty cool. So uh, you and Joe can head, head on the uh, oh. same plane ride to the West Coast if he yeah. gets camp. it's going to – if they – oh, boy. All right, but you're going to be back next week? You'll be back no, here? Yeah. Or next, do it remotely? the week sometime. All right, well, uh, we'll have to figure that out. You'll have to find yeah, a green – Yeah, I'll be – I'll find an alley in Chicago after the game. We can. You know uh, what? You can uh, sit behind a green screen in Wrigley Field. Oh, hey, I'll go, go to East Lansing. If they – Oh, that's right. The national championship game's next Monday. So Yeah, you might find some green stuff mm, or something. Yeah. Yeah. All right. So uh, I think we'll end it uh, right there. So Fantastic for job by Gene you. Gene Steichen. Uh hey, better better times ahead for all Midwestern teams. Yep. All right. So my name is Chris Dodd. Thanks for watching. The Midwest, so they're good. See you guys well, next week.